Hello! Welcome to Essay Nights. The Essay Slayers. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through Susan Glossbell Play Trifles Essay. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay for as little as $10 a page at Essay Nights. The link is in the description. For this assignment, you will be reading and analyzing the Susan Glossbell play, Trifles. As you read the play you will notice that its format is quite different from that of a short story or novel. At first, reading the stage directions, characters' names and dialogue may feel awkward. But rest assured that, as you keep reading you will find your rhythm and be able to follow the story with little difficulty. Please write an essay of 1,000 words or more discussing the questions below. As always, begin your paper with an engaging introduction and clear thesis statement, develop each point in the body of your paper using examples and quotes from the play, and conclude your paper with a restatement of your thesis and closing remarks. In addition, be sure to maintain your credibility by including in-text citations and a reference list correctly formatted in APA style. Setting what is the setting of the play, in terms of the time period, region and weather? Explain the condition of the house. What emotional response does the setting evoke in you? Characters, describe the main characters, County Attorney George Henderson, Sheriff Henry Peters, Neighbor Louise Hale, Mrs. Hale, and Mrs. Peters. What do you also know about John and Minnie Wright? Who in this story do you feel is are the protagonist, S, and who is are the antagonist, S. Plot. Summarize the plot of the play in terms of its narrative arc, also known a pyramidal pattern, exposition, rising action, conflict, climax, falling action and resolution demand. What makes the story suspenseful? Stage directions. Comment on Glassball stage directions. What information do they reveal that you would have not been able to glean from the dialogue alone? Symbolism. Elaborate on the symbolic meaning of the birdcage, the dead canary, the noose and the items referred to as trifles. Themes, remark on the main messages of this play. What is the meaning of the title, trifles? In your opinion, what is Glossbell saying about gender differences and marriage in this story? Genre, because this is a play, most of the story is told in dialogue format. Articulate the differences between reading a drama and reading a short story. Comment 2, on the experience of reading a drama versus watching it performed by actors. Final thoughts, Trifles is based on a true crime story that Susan Glasgow reported on as a journalist from 1898 to 1901. Do some background research on the actual events, one recommended website is http colon slash slash www.midnightassassin.com slash index.html and write about the increasing empathy Glossbell felt toward Margaret Hosick, the alleged murderess, as Glossbell covered the case. Do you empathize with Hosick and her fictional counterpart, Minnie Wright? Why or why not? What overall impact has the play had on you? Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about Susan Glossbell play trifles essay as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, plagiarism free essay at essay nights for as little as little as ten dollars the link is in the description see you next time